Welcome, everybody, to Well, That Didn't Work, um, Silent and Deadly. Yes, you heard that right. Oh, yes, I see so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that you? <laughs> no, that was the clap. <laughs> Does it rip when you pee? I don't <laughs> know. Does it burn? It must be you. <laughs> um, you should go to the doctor and have it checked out. I don't go to the doctor. I went to a doctor once. Did he check just the wrong right. hole? <laughs> we'll just say he is crawling out of the hole still. All right. I have done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and see, we're out. <laughs> this is going to be our... <laughs> Come aboard. Are you glad you came oh, tonight? So, so glad. Oh, yes. So glad. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to be serious tonight. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> so we're going to be playing Genesis. Um, this is the narrative die system built off of the Star Wars RPG that you've heard us play for the last year. Um, we're really excited to start in this game, if you can't tell already. Uh, and with me tonight, I've got two regulars, Mike and Rick, uh, who have already been jabbering away in their roleplay <laughs> voices, which is pretty... Uh, has been pretty special so far, and then <laughs> it will get more special. It's going to get. I have a feeling like you're calling special. <laughs> it's right. I'm calling you special, but with a clap like you have, that is not special. <laughs> oh gosh, um, and we've also got a new face and voice joining us uh, today. Uh, Aaron, tell us a little bit about your role play experience um, and uh, what you. I, I don't know favorite color what you hope to gain out of what what spy are you playing let's start with you so i'm playing eric hunt uh, so. <laughs> eric hunt did you eric, say eric hunt, yeah. yeah very he's, adamant that he wasn't the, ethan hunt yeah, he's the uh, the texas born brother of the late great ethan hunt okay oh, so, the late okay. yeah i didn't late, see the last mission impossible so that was hunt, not, either, not either. oh i see <laughs> But yeah, uh, so rel <laughs> relatively new uh, experience-wise. I uh, haven't played with this this die set before, but uh, okay, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited. Yes. So it's your first time in Genesis. This is English. The H is not a K. It is not a K. I did not know. It's Eric Hunt. <laughs> it sounded like something to me, like Air Special or something. You know, I don't know. So you haven't played with narrative dice. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. But, it's very good. That's fun. But you've played other games before. What's been your experience with uh, RPGs so far? Um, well, just, uh, I guess this this past year we've really just started uh, okay. started playing. So I've yeah. got uh, in two different games, and um, so we're having a lot of fun with it and just uh, wanted, to, wanted to do more. Yeah, fantastic. So. Well, thanks so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy yourself. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> so, and it's it's Eric Hunt? Eric. Eric. We will make uh, sure to offend you at Eric. some point. It is Eric. Eric. I see. Oh, I think. Oh, McJoke. Yeah, that's funny. Uh -huh. All right. So, <laughs> Rick, why don't you tell us? Ends with a C, like the clap. Yes. <laughs> yes. Clap. That's how you remember it. It's feeble clap. Yes, so Rick, why don't you tell us a little bit about your character? <laughs> I am playing Vladimir Rokmobos, <coughs> and uh, I am a uh, son uh, come from wealthy Russian Can you family. Say that again? <laughs> what is so funny? That is my family name. That is a very proud family name. What do you have problem? Does it stand on end? <laughs> what are you talking about? People stand at attention when we come in. <laughs> We're a person of friends of... You know. Uh, have you guys seen The Office? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's see. We're just playing Bill Buttlicker. <laughs> Buttlicker. Oh, I know. Buttlicker. <laughs> Our prices have never been lower. <laughs> Do you see the way he talks to me? Anyway. Let's see. Vlad, or should I call you Mr. Rockmaballs? <laughs> It's ro it's rockmobiles. 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 Okay. What is it? It's a very difficult. It's a very easy. Vladimir is not Vlad. Vlad is some <laughs> blood sucker in Transylvania. <laughs> and Vladimir. Vladimir. Mm. How do you spell your last name? Uh, R O C <laughs> just like it R O C K. Yes, just like it sounds. <laughs> M A. B A L L S. <laughs> <laughs> you could have at least put a U after the A or I something. Actually, I mean, no, I actually I haven't spelled R O C K M A B U L S, but this is the sheet I'm looking at. The way he asked the question, I had to spell it that way for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, but son of a rich Russian family, uh, wanted to make a better place. All the yada yada yada. 
don't like corporate or governments, and so I joined UNCLE, which, uh, you know, uh, United Network Command Force and Attachment, uh, you know, so enforcement. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> don't even know how, I don't even know what UNCLE means, but. <laughs> they let me kill. Uh, they, no, I don't kill, I abduct. <laughs> Occasionally we kill because we have to, you know. They get my order wrong, <laughs> dead, you know. My chicken overcooked, dead. But, but we don't that. kill. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We have place in Russia for those kind of people. Don't overcook my chicken. It's McDonald's. Not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so that is right. So anyway, yeah, I try to make one better place. <clears throat> awesome. And uh, Mike. Why do you make me go after that? <laughs> <laughs> because. Mike, who, who are you portraying? I'm playing Inspector Jacques Clouseau. And I am fresh off of the Pink Panther case. Oh, I am on loan to Uncle from the French government. To what? Uncle. What are you? What Uncle. is that? Uncle. Uncle. That is that. that, that Uncle. That is. A Can you not speak English? That is school in the United States. No, Uncle. I heard they play football there, don't they? No football. It's soccer. It is football. But you know it as Do you so, know yeah. what language he is speaking? <laughs> I do not know. <clears throat> I've heard this before. We are working together? And you make <laughs> me work with a Kami. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what is wrong with you? What is wrong? That spit in your general direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am sorry. This would be very interesting night. So you guys don't know each other yet. <laughs> yes. That is obvious. <laughs> We're not making it through session one tonight. <laughs> boy, oh boy. I'm we will. to play we very will. serious character. This is very important. <laughs> Make world a better place. Okay, Mr. Rock Me Belts. What did you say? Rock Me Belts. <laughs> Rock Me Belts. <laughs> you do not... Did you make it through school? Did you get... Of course I did, you uneducated whiff. What? Whiff? 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 <laughs> I do not know what he is saying. We will figure it out. <clears throat> I have translator on my phone. Perhaps I can use that. <laughs> Perhaps. Eric. <laughs> Eric Hunt. Air er Cunt? <laughs> <laughs> uh, er Will you quit er talking cunt. dirty? I am not talking dirty. I say his name, Air er Cunt. <laughs> Is that not your name? English. It's not K. Air er Cunt. Ha. Ha. Air Cunt. Not ha. 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 You make joke? No. I correct you. Do not. Person correct me once, and I will correct you Just again. Once. <laughs> okay, so you guys haven't met Eric, <laughs> <laughs> but Eric, you are in a um, kind of a slummy <coughs> village in India. Um, you've found yourself kind of walking through uh, basically alleys <laughs> that they call streets packed full of stands that they're selling like socks and old fruit that they picked up from other stands probably days ago. Um, the smell is pretty overwhelming, but this is the space that you were told to report to Um for a very mm. sensitive mission. So here's kind of the breakdown of where everybody is. And so spend some time out of character for just a quick moment and tell me, like, you're all hunting one person. You all know him as a different, like, by a different name. Mm. So this is kind of a, an, an extremely wanted individual in your country um, by your organization. I know you guys both work for Uncle, uh, Mike and Rick, but um, probably in different wings and definitely in different <laughs> territories. Uh, and so you've known this individual by a very specific name for a long time and have never been able to get track of him for long enough 
to hunt him down and bring him to justice. What do you know him as? <clears throat> a lot of vagina. <laughs> Faja. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a mad man. <laughs> Damn it. Dimitri. Anonymity right there. Mm-hmm. Dimitri. You know him as Dimitri. Perfect. Uh, Aaron, what does <clears throat> Eric know this uh, particular criminal as? Dietrich. Dietrich. And Jacques, how do you know this criminal? I have been told I am hunting the squirrel. The squirrel. Is that right? Did I say that right? Yes, you did. <coughs> trying to translate it as we go. And the squirrel outsmarted you again. He keeps leaving his nuts everywhere. <laughs> but they say even a blind squirrel now I am doing French accent. <laughs> that did not take long at all. No, it did not. So, uh, I win 20 bucks. It's so good. It didn't take long to break him either. My job is done. You repeat your own name. <laughs> you get the accent right. <laughs> you find my name funny? What is wrong with you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gosh. is interesting that it must be play out. I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> What is this guy running our show? And look at him. He can't control himself. Oh. <laughs> that was... <laughs> You're in for score. weeks of dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> We're either going to ruin you or you're going to absolutely love the game. <laughs> and this isn't what the... Your, this isn't... The norm sometimes, most of the time it's not, but occasionally it's not. When you guys here. when you guys hit your stride, you're <laughs> usually pretty solid. Uh, we usually play much more serious games <laughs> than how this one has wound up being. I think we legitimately have like five minutes of usable footage at this point. No, that's not true. We're putting it all out. <laughs> of course we are. He is. Yeah. Vladimir, rock me balls. <laughs> it is, however, going to have the explicit tag once again. <laughs> and they say even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. That is great, because now I can call him if you <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> you are walking through this slum. Um, do you pay any attention to any of the uh, pedestrians here? And it is entirely <clears throat> an accident that I literally dropped you into your fear zone as per your character sheet. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not comfortable around poverty. In this, you're not comfortable around poverty. Not like you as Aaron, but you as Eric. Like, right. that's your yeah. your character fear. In Genesis, yeah. you roll for random fears and strengths and personality traits, and poverty happens to be your fear. I don't, um, like, I don't like poor people <clears throat> touching me. <laughs> See, I, wasn't, I was going to ask, like, is it... Do, do you fear the impoverished, or... <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid of reaching that level yourself? But clearly, it's <laughs> the former. Yeah, it's a little both. I mean, I, I, <laughs> a little this, I, little I don't want to reach it, but I, I don't want them touching me. Okay, either. cool. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, fair. I get you. So what are you doing as you wander through the street? How are you kind of coping with this being where you are asked to meet somebody? Um, like, how, how are you processing that? A little, a little on edge. I'm usually usually calm and cool, but I'm I'm looking at all the faces, constantly checking the, you know, just looking around trying to see if I can meet this person who's uh, who's supposed to be finding me. And but I don't I don't like people I don't like dirty people touching me, so I'm, I'm you know keeping my keeping my distance. Okay. While constantly looking <clears throat> over my shoulder. Okay, so go ahead and roll me a discipline check first. Um, so what you're going to do for that is you're going to pick up a number of dice. Discipline generally pairs with willpower. Um, so if you don't have any ranks in your discipline skill, which I don't think you do, 
Um, you're going to pick up a number of green dice equal to your willpower trait up at the top. Um, this check is going to be average, which means two purple dice. So how you roll these dice, and <clears throat> Rick is sitting next to you. He'll help you kind of um, kind of quickly cancel things out. But basically you roll the entire pool all at <clears throat> once, um, and then successes and failures will cancel each other out, and advantage and threat will cancel each other out. And basically whatever you're left with is the result of your roll. As long as you have one success, you succeed. You get you do what you set out to do. Um, it may not be flawless, depending on how many threat you roll, that kind of thing, but you do succeed at whatever it was. If you roll no successes, even if there are no failures left over, <coughs> it is a failure. Um, and then, but you can also have advantages with that that mean like you don't do what you wanted to do, but something else benefits you in the scenario. Uh, so go ahead and roll those dice and let's let's cancel them out. All this that I didn't explain to you. Okay, so. That is a failure, okay, and that is a threat, all right? So th these are successes, and those are advantages. Mm. So the so that, all right, that uh, success cancels that failure, so basically you just flip that and get rid of that. So this is what your dice pool is. You had two successes and two threats. Mm. Okay, yeah. awesome. Two successes and two threats. And so um, just for the sake of people listening who maybe haven't touched Genesis before, uh, we're using both the Genesis dice sets and the Star Wars dice sets. So if you play like a lot of Star Wars and you're interested in Genesis, you don't actually have to buy new dice. The ratios of the faces are exactly the same. Uh, which is super cool. So Aaron's getting to use some of our Star Wars dice. I've got Genesis dice in front of me. So um, they're very interchangeable, super handy to have around. You don't have to buy a whole new set of dice. And you don't have to learn a whole new set of symbols if you already have one or the other. Yeah, right. if you already know the Star Wars, yeah. We use the Star Wars because we're used to them. Exactly. And the Genesis. I, I use the Genesis think. because we don't have enough Star Wars dice. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> cool. So two success and two threat. So um, generally speaking, with threat and advantage, I'll give you a chance to narrate kind of how that plays out. Um, what you were rolling for, though, was to keep your cool. Like you said, like you feel on edge. You're normally not used to this type of a scenario. So the discipline check was to try to keep uh, your cool and keep your bearings and not kind of give anything away about yourself as you're wandering through here, which already you stand out because you obviously don't look like you belong in a slum. Mm. Um, <clears throat> but this was to kind of help you keep your mental and outward composure as you're going along. Um, with those threat, though, um, I think you brush up against maybe one of the stalls or maybe somebody who, like, is coughing as they walk past. They get a little too close to you. Um, you're going to take two strain. So what differs from this, I know you have some experience in, like, Dungeons & Dragons. Mm -hmm. uh, one big way that this differs from that game is that there are two wounding mechanics. Uh, one is your wound threshold, which is at the top in the middle, at the top of your character sheet, mm -hmm. and the other is your strain threshold. Uh, wounds are like physical damage, whereas strain is like mental um, impact. And gotcha. so basically when you reach mm -hmm. your threshold on either of those, you become unable, unable to continue in the scene, whether it's a combat or a narrative scene. So you're going to take two strain damage um, as a result of those threats. Mm -hmm. um, and as you kind of come to the end of this particular stretch of road uh, you're, you're kind of following a poorly written directional map um, it's not like a it's not like a grid with like arrows pointing places but just like turn right at the third apple cart you know things like that and so you find yourself at that third apple cart you turn to the right you walk down this alleyway and you see um, a child dressed in green which is the next step on your list um, and it gives you uh, a kind of difficult to pronounce word. Um, I haven't made up an Indian word to put here, but it's basically like you just have to say this word, and so you stumble through that um, because I don't, I don't know. Do, would your character know the language of this country or this particular dialect, even? I speak twenty-five no. different languages. I don't know. <laughs> now. Um, I said I'm from Texas, so I don't have much experience with the Indian culture. Yeah, so you kind of you kind of stumble through it, um, and the kid laughs, but he does uh, turn and open the door uh, behind him, like unlocking it with a key, and uh, like holds out his hand 
as if to take the directions from you, not like looking for a tip. Although if you wanted <clears throat> to give a tip, that would I'm sure be welcome. I'll, I'll give a little bit of tip, and you know, I do do a, a good Indian accent, so I just said, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's offended. <laughs> First, <laughs> thank you, come thank, again. <laughs> thank you very much, little boy. Come to Waldman. I tried to blend in. So uh, you, you hand him this directional sheet, which he like literally rips in half and then eats, like shoves it in his mouth um, to dispose of it, uh, and closes the door behind you. And you see him kind of like as he closes the door, he runs off. Um, so the door is locked behind you. You don't see any like way to unlock it from your end. And as far as you know, he's no longer sitting outside of it. Uh, as you walk through a narrow kind of tunnel hallway but like super narrow like this thing is probably three feet wide uh, very uncomfortable to walk through uh, especially it's got like a couple of little side tables with like a Walmart style picture frame like really cheap picture frames with like stock photos it's not even photos of real people you can even see the barcode in the bottom right corner of the photograph uh, it's just put there to kind of make it look like it's supposed to be homey and as you come through to the other side uh, you see an animated table of uh, two gentlemen who have a deck of cards between them, but it looks like it hasn't even been touched. And uh, they are arguing uh, furiously. Um, listeners, you may recognize this argument from before we started playing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, and, and, and you hear that one of them has a really uh, thick Russian <clears throat> accent and the other almost indecipherable French. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon was a short, stupid man. <clears throat> Your intellect is dizzying. <clears throat> it is dizzying because everything to you is dizzy. Well, <clears throat> at least I know where I am and that I do not have to rock the balls. <laughs> <laughs> you so, keep saying that like it's some kind of insult. I'm very proud of my family name. <laughs> I'm sure you sound like you play with it off in. Hey, at least I have not lost my nuts like you have. <clears throat> so you see that they're the only two patrons in the entire space. And this is like, it's like a living room with an open kitchen, like a, like a, like a really old school, like island in between the kitchen and the living room with like a slit window. Uh, but this is like a tiny apartment, but it's, Dressed up like it's got three tables, like it's supposed to be some sort of bar of some kind. There's even somebody back, like at the sink, uh, like wiping a glass, and uh, they look up at you and kind of scoff to themselves, like kind of like oh, another one. Come on, um, but this is—I mean, you could buy a drink here if you wanted to. It's just kind of like an unconventional tavern. <clears throat> <clears throat> And so, Eric, what, what do you do as you come in? They're obviously in the middle of their conversation. Um, and and it's probably fairly loud, but I, I don't know. Would you guys stop for another person to walk in this room? Probably not. You've, you've, you've kind of come here. You two have also kind of come here under the same um, instruction that uh, individually the squirrel and Dimitri, like you've got a trail on your most wanted criminal. Now, I'll ask you this. Is the standard patrons and people that would be coming in and out of this room, are they of Indian nature? or uh, Because that would put him as a standout. Right. You've been here for probably two hours, maybe three hours, and no one else has come in. Okay, okay. then yes, we'd be paying attention. Yeah, you've been the only people here. Nobody's come in. Nobody's left. It's been the same person behind the counter. Uh, they haven't made any phone calls or anything. They kind of sit down and do a, a crossword puzzle or something every once in a while, but then they go back to... Wiping glasses, um, but that's kind of about it. I see. But I don't know who I'm looking for. I just know this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, you don't. You don't know who's going to come and address you, um, but you do know that uh, they said they've got information on Dietrich. Hmm. Really? Oh, how to how to fellas? I see. And, and uh, who are you? <coughs> Eric. Eric Hunt. Eric Hunt. <coughs> Oh. <laughs> please excuse please, my please, friend's please English. Please my name out when you say it, sir. See, Eric a, Hunt. Eric Hunt. Not Eric yes. Hunt. Is it Eric Hunt or Eric Hunt? 
not not air cut. Oh, <laughs> please excuse my friend's English. Can, he does not understand H's and K's. Let's just go with Hunt. Don't Let's even just go listen hunt. to a word he says. <laughs> hunt. And Mr. Are, hunt. And you are? I am Vladimir. Rock my boss. Rock my Rock my boss. Rock my boss. Yes. And you are from America, it seems like. I am. Texas. Great, great state of Texas. Yes, Texas. Very nice place. A great hamburgers. <laughs> what? I said great hamburgers. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> if you it's a great... <laughs> it, it, Texas is such a great state for hamburgers. Come on. You know ham burger. Bur burger? Burger? Uh, Hamburger? Yes. Burger? Yes. Burger? Hamburger? Yes. Now, who are you with? Who are you with? That is, he asked you. We mm -hmm. ask you questions. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm uh, with the IMF agency. I'm looking the for the it is monetary fund. Exactly. I see. Like it is lovely weather we are having today. <laughs> I get up and start frisking him, but the way that I'm frisking him is like messing with his face, looking for bugs. <laughs> what kind of bugs are you looking for? <laughs> Roll a. Uh... Oh gosh, what check do I want you to even make? Theatrics. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, there's nothing to find. You roll a discipline. <laughs> uh, when I say you, I point it at Eric. Okay. And so what do you want him to, what skill? So I will want normally. you to roll against Cluso's presence, which is a three. So you're going to roll three purple. All right. But you want him to use his willpower? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so doing... Yep. Two so green, two green, three purple. Three purple. Now, hang on, before you roll. I know you just rolled, but before you roll, <laughs> we have what's called story points right here. So you have four story points that are yours to use, and we have four story points that are mine to use. Um, you can use a story point to upgrade your check, which means you take one of those greens out and put a yellow in. I will always give you a chance to upgrade first. If you pass then I can upgrade the other side, which means you would replace the purple with the red. And if I do that after you've passed, you can't go back and say, no, 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 I want to upgrade. <laughs> so I always give you first chance, and if you pass, then I do it. If I upgrade without giving you that chance first, then of course you would be able to do it. Right. Um, and there, there are other things you can use those for. Sometimes you can use them to introduce a fact or something in the story. Or, for instance, say you needed some rope and you didn't have rope. You could say, you could flip one over and say, I have some rope. Or, mm -hmm. you know, there's a potted plant here if I want to push it off on someone's head. Or, so there's other things you can use them for, too. So, gotcha. You know. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah. So would you like to upgrade? You don't have to, but it's just, I just wanted to make that an option. This is your gotcha. second roll, so I figured I would let you know that that's mm -hmm. available. No, I don't feel it's necessary at this point. Okay, yeah. so how did the roll go? It doesn't look very good. That on, doesn't look good. And um, so basically, that would, they, those, basically those just wash each other out. Okay. So you just, and then you just leave, and that's gone because there's nothing there, so. <laughs> <clears throat> those are both. That's two failures and two threats. So, uh, <laughs> so you, you might just punch him in the face. Cluso <laughs> begins frisking you. Uh, Cluso, you do find a gun. On my face? On his face? No, I, I figured you didn't stop with the face. No, I was like, you're only frisking his face. <laughs> I'm only frisking his face. It's you find hat. nothing. I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> However, you become probably visibly frustrated with what he's doing to you. Um, do not mind him. He is not all there, as you have probably noticed. You know, I've been yeah. talking to, I just met the man, and right now, I want to kill him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah French, he's getting a little handsy on me. <laughs> well, the French are fairly friendly that way, you know. So, yeah. Oh, how rude of me. I did not introduce myself. I am Inspector Clouseau. And you said your name was Eric Hunt? Hunt. Hunt. Beautiful. Yes. Love the way the French say my name. <laughs> <laughs> so elegant. It is. It is very. Yeah. Um, uh, you call it elegant. 
<clears throat> so for those two threat, I'm actually going to give you a setback on your next roll because you've become frustrated at the situation <laughs> already. Uh, so go ahead and take one of those black dice and kind of set them like on the dice tray or in front of you somewhere so you can remember next time I roll dice, I have to include this. Gotcha. Right. Mm. Um, I think I'm gonna need a shot of whiskey after all that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, so the bar has the, lots of stuff. Right. They, the vodka is okay, but you know, they the, have uh, Texas vodka, the Tito's vodka, Tito's. which is not oh. bad. You know, it's pretty good stuff. Oh, well, Mark, even need a shot of Tito's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you go up to get a drink, and as you do, um, the uh, quote bartender <laughs> lays out a box of cigars on uh, top and. Uh, a, a lighter and a cutter as well and says uh, it's on the house she's an old woman I've just decided that right now in this moment <laughs> well boys you want to share a cigar yeah that is that would be good is it a good Cuban cigar we get the best Cuban cigars in Russia that is why we took over the country just for their cigars <laughs> that's a good reason yeah are you sure it wasn't for missiles for who? Miss what? Miss Sales. Sales. The Miss Sales. A... <laughs> I see. I don't know what you are talking about. So. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> <clears throat> we just pretty ah, soon. Russians. Just nod your just nod your head and smile. <laughs> <You know? clears throat> so, anyway, would you like a cigar? Do the French smoke cigars? Oh, they smoke. They. Yeah, the French smoke the best cigar. Do they now? We. Oui. You we on your cigar? <laughs> That's why they're best. <laughs> why you say we on cigar? Well, you said it. No, I say I... yes, we. We, yes. Have you got frog in your pocket? We? Oui. We. Oui. It means yes. I see. We have mission to attend to, so... But you just offered me cigar. We did. So we smoke cigar, we get to know each other. Yeah. Tell us about yourself. You come from Texas. I come from Texas, my friend. By this point, I'm picking up a cigar. I've already nipped the tip of it, and I've lit it, and I leave the, cig I leave the lighter lit, okay. and just drop it wherever it's at. Okay, it snaps <laughs> closed. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't want you to light my Indian slum on fire. <laughs> but that's totally what would happen. Hey, do you guys light up as well? Um, I am going to wait to see both of them light up, and then I will decide. I'm going to join uh, join my friend Mr. Clouseau in a cigar. Okay. I, I wait a few. I wait a little bit to make sure there's no ill effects. Okay, you guys get about halfway down your cigars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. All right. So. Actually, halfway he's down the cigar like was like two hours. Minutes. Yeah, that's a <laughs> long time. He's, he's holding it like a while. he's holding it like this, and he is taking like the hugest drags <laughs> possible, like Bugs Bunny style. He'll be high as a kite by the time this is done. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will let it. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, you guys continue your conversation for a while. Um, and eventually you start to smell kind of the smell of an incense. Uh, and one of you looks over, and uh, I know we don't have like passive perception in this game, but you see um, a little bit of a light vapor coming out of one of the vents in the floor. Where I'm from, that's not good. That is not. That is not. And I will turn to. Oh, what is the old woman's name? Uh, she has not given it to you. <clears throat> old and woman. I do not have one for it. <laughs> <laughs> old woman. Something gas is coming out of this vent. It, it's normal. I see it every day. I can do perception check on her to see if I think she is lying. <laughs> You can. <laughs> and uh, difficulty is going to be two red, one purple. Ooh. This is like a secret agent safe house. <laughs> Alrighty then. Not good. Uh, Not awful. No, well... Depends on how you, you look at it. You didn't succeed, but you also didn't accrue a bunch of threat. No, 
I did not. Uh, I failed with one threat. Um, yeah, so as far as you can tell, like, as far as she is concerned, it's normal. <clears throat> um, your one threat, though, is that you notice that in particular, she has placed herself as far away from your cigar smoke as she can. Which could mean she just does not like cigar smoke. But she that's how it that's how it cigars. has appeared up until now. <clears throat> so the threat is going to be a strain uh, because that's kind of peculiar to you in this moment. And as mm. you kind of realize that, uh, you maybe turn back around to the rest of the table and you kind of feel your your body feels like it's still moving to the side. Uh, but it's not like it's kind of that dizzy feeling that you get when you finish spinning in circles and you feel like you're still moving, but you're not. That's kind of how you feel now. Um, and uh, Clouseau is. Uh, I have my old flip phone out and it's upside down aimed at the vent and taking pictures. <laughs> and he just he just takes repeated snapshots as he falls over out of his chair. Um <laughs> And uh, Eric, also, uh, what what do you do when you become dizzy? What do I do? Yeah. Or do you do anything? <laughs> He's just kind of like, well, nothing new here. <laughs> yeah, just, just lean against the bar and, and take it all in, man. Just like, <laughs> all right, must be nap time. <laughs> <laughs> to get cigar. That's what this feels like. Okay, all right. <laughs> and you do. You just fall into an easy sleep. And you notice that both of them have fallen asleep. And you've been smoking the cigar for a little bit. A few minutes, not nearly as long as they have. Put the cigar down. Okay. Um, I take a charcoal pill. Okay. And down it. Okay. Which is to counteract poisons and such, absorb anything. And I take my handkerchief and put it over my nose, which has charcoal in the handkerchief to help filter out, you know, toxic chemicals and stuff. It's the Russians, we you know, we come up with all these nice little gadgets. And uh, <clears throat> and I look at the old woman again. And I say, what is going on here? And she just kind of flips through <laughs> the newspaper and says, it's normal. This does not seem normal. It's normal. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I am going to back away from the gas is the hallway still open the hallway is open okay i'm going to try to back away from the gas okay <clears throat> do i see the vent could i close the vent that it is coming out of yeah okay do when i do i feel like the handkerchief is keeping you still feel dizzy and stumbling and in those I types of feel, things okay so um i'm not 100 percent, but i'm not unconscious yeah, you're not unconscious. Um, I think you could roll me a um, knowledge check. And uh, because of your career and, and a little bit of your backstory, I'd give you a boost for your experience in um, just knowledge of poison. Um, right. So uh, knowledge generally fits with intellect, but I think I, you could make a case for cunning if you wanted to, just because it is a poison-based deal. Um and the check itself is going to be hard, so three purples. All right. And this is to get like information on how you've seen them react and how you've felt it reacting with you, what you might know about it. <clears throat> Apparently not much. <laughs> no, well. Hard check at, a, at an entry level character is. It is rough. It is rough. I failed with five advantage. <clears throat> Obviously not that right. <laughs> <laughs> but I failed. You did fail. <clears throat> um, I'm going to say, if I can, that my advantage is I'm able to close the vent, mm -hmm. one of the parts of the advantage, um, heal one of my heal my one strain. Okay. So that's two advantage. That's two advantage, which leaves me three advantage. And if there's something that you... Because uh, I don't recognize the toxin... Um, <clears throat> so I think one one advantage is that you know, like you you check both of them, and uh, they are still breathing fine. Like it's not a lethal deal, okay, um, for sure. And as this time is going on, uh, even though you're holding this handkerchief to your mouth and, and nose, um, you're still 
starting to feel a little bit dizzier and a little woozier. So I could tell the toxin is having some effect on me. You can tell that whatever effect it was going to have started earlier. So it wasn't like an overtime effect. Mm. It was like the, or I'll say it wasn't an overtime application. It's an over the time effect. And whatever happened, mm. happened before you were able to counteract it. Okay. So I've already ingested enough of the. Correct. Yeah. Um, now, does my charcoal, does the charcoal pill have any? I think it lets you stay mm -hmm. up for a little bit longer. Like you remain cognizant for long enough to see uh, three men in white suits, uh, big, like kingpin sized, burly guys uh, come in. Like they walk sideways through the hallway mm -hmm. because that's how big they are. They can't walk with their shoulders in the hall. Uh, they come in, they pick each of you up. And they walk out with you. And by the time the door is closed, like you see the light and that kind of <clears throat> blinds you for long enough that you fall all the way asleep. Okay. And that is where we will end this first session, guys. <laughs> we got very far, no? You got, you, hey, you made it out of the building. Congratulations. <laughs> we got carried out yeah. on stretcher. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Oh, come on. I didn't get to wake up in some awkward position. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we have more sessions. Oh, that's right. Um, so Rock my balls to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. I know we have enjoyed it immensely already. Um, I know this was kind of a shorter kind of introducing the characters to the world type of uh, a deal, but uh, we'll we'll have plenty of fun with this over the summer. We'll see you guys next week, and until then, keep on adventuring. Have a good one. Good night. Good night.